Okay then, send out that tweet. Interesting. So, I forget whose stage this even is. This is all... So in the original Mighty Gunvolt, you fought all of the, uh... The Gunvolt 1 bosses. And in this one you fight the... Well, actually it was a mix, wasn't it? Because you fight that tentacle thing from Galgun, don't you? But in this one you fight all of the Mighty Number no. 9 bosses, and I don't really recognize most of them. I recognize them sort of from the early Kickstarter, but I... My degree of care about the Mighty Gunvolt stuff is... nah. Um, my, my degree of care about the uh, Mighty Number no. 9 stuff is nah. Gunvolt I love. What's it just Gunvolt? No, because there was the tentacle thing. Oh, frick. There was definitely that thing. I'm not sure if there was any Mighty Number no. 9 stuff. Um, I definitely remember it being mostly Gunvolt. But yeah, this is sort of an expanded... ...based on that concept, and uh, it's got the- it's got a customization system for your gun, which is pretty fun. Though it's a lot of work, and you only get to change, like, one thing every, like, full level. You can, like, turn up one setting, unless you do a lot of grinding. I see Mighty Number no. 9 was still in Dev Hell. Yeah, I think it was. I think that did came, come out, didn't it? I don't even remember. Oh. Excuse me. There we go. Yeah, I, I think that did come out first. Which makes sense, because Gunvolt is a functional franchise, and Mighty Number no. 9 is, is not. I'm not the hugest fan of the whole... Um, 8-bit, pseudo 8-bit style, but, um, I, I guess somebody pointed out, I guess it's partially just to differentiate it from regular Gunvolt. Though Gunvolt isn't, like, 16-bit, it's higher than that, but, uh, whatever. I'm not a huge fan of the 8-bit style, honestly. Mighty Gunvolt was the free pack-in with Gunvolt. Yeah, they, uh, was it free? I think it was free, and then they, I think they added some levels that was like a little mini DLC. I'm not sh I forget if I got it free. I think I... I don't remember that exactly. It's been a little bit. But the original Mighty Gunvolt was pretty good. And, uh... This one's just sort of more expanded. It's just sort of a more... Proper game. Because, yeah, it oh, almost fell for the exact same thing. The original was pretty short, so it did feel a bit more like, you know, a pack-in, as it was meant to be. Free during launch week. Yeah, I think... I think you're right. And in that one, you got uh, Gunvolt, Beck, and uh, Ekoro, I think her name is. The Galgun Angel. Which, she's, like, super hard mode in this game. So she just came out as free DLC, at least for, like, this exact moment. For, like... She's free for, like, a week or two. Um, and she has, like, way less health, but she has, like, she has a mana bar, and once it fills up, you can be invincible for a while. Oh, you lost the save? Aw, oh, losing your save file is the absolute worst thing. I beat it on, um, how do I get you? Um... I beat it on 3DS and never played it on PC. It's kind of a shame because I did- I have to beat the, uh, I beat the Bakugaijin edition. I think they fixed all of that, but... So, for those unaware... What are you? What is that? And how do I get it? I've never- I'm not a huge fan of invisible block levels. Sigh. Whatever. Yeah, I, I don't really like him as a little... I do like that at least you can kind of inch. You know, like, that classic Mega Man inching. Though you actually don't inch. You you go many more pixels than Mega Man used to. Um, I guess this little friend is trying to help you see the outlines of the thingies. But he also... He protect, but he also attack. How do I get to this? I, I don't care, it's not worth it. 
And Koro in the original Gunvolt had the ability to charm enemies. That might be an unlock. I'm not sure. Uh, it definitely doesn't come by default. Good, good game design. Everyone loves invisible platforms. The best. Every time, all the time, greatest, greatest level design. Fall into pits that you don't know are there. I do usually like the design of this game. Um, the Mega Man games tend to always have that one level, etc. Perhaps this is just that one. I guess, I guess it's easier if you leave the enemies alive, so whatever. We got a piece of meat. For some reason, there's eight, there's health foods in this game, which I guess is kind of like um, Mega Man ZX Advent kind of has that. <clears throat> Am I? So what? What? What is the? Hold on. What? What is this dude's weakness then? The weaknesses in Gunvolt at, or Mighty Number no. 9 make absolutely no sense. And it's been transferred to this game, the complete lack of sense. Um, hey, Capitalist and Artie. The jumping the enemies where the gaps are. So you... I mean, the cues are only there before you kill the enemies. And I mean, most people kill on enemies. Um, Mighty... Gunvolt Burst Weaknesses. This is one of many things I hate about classic Mega Man weaknesses. One is that they make absolutely no sense. Two, they're usually overpowered, at least in classic Mega Man. In this, they're actually... I think at the very, very, very most, they do double damage and zero stun. I think they deal less than double, but I could be wrong. I don't know... I don't know what this guy... Oh. I always pressed the wrong button. To do. Who even? No! Uh. I always get super confused by that menu. I don't even know who this guy is. This is a GameFAX thread, but it's like, it just refers to them by name. It's like, I have no idea who these idiots are. Mighty. No, nine bosses. I'm sure it makes a lot more sense to people who played Mighty Number no. 9, but I refuse. I even bought it, I own it. I even, I may have even paid for one of the higher tiers, but I refuse. Oh, what are these idiots' names, for God's sake? Why is there not like a little image for this? Okay, here we go. This is Countershade, apparently. Um, okay, Shock? I need to finish up this finding out this idiot's weakness so I can compl complain about the original localization of Gunvolt. Um, it's not a bad game, but we will discuss its sins soon. Ah, oh, fuck. X. Okay. So weird. I wish you could set it to just default to whatever, to accept whatever you changed. So it... Ah. I think it does do double damage for, for, for the weakness then. Why are you foods? Oh no! Evil foods. I see your lies. Oh, he can eat the foods. How dare he? One of my favorite things is when you can only hurt a boss every like eight minutes. This is probably my least favorite level in the game so far. Hello. Oh god, what? Og. Okay, he's almost dead. Die, please. There you go. Rip. Oh, I hate classic boss weakness stuff. I packed Mighty Number no. 9 as well. No, we d I didn't even get the empty box. I didn't get the empty box tier. I got- I was all digital. Why- 
Why is Gunvolt fighting many number nine bosses? Because Beck is so bad that that Gunvolt just decided to pitch in and do his job for him. That's not why, but head cannon. It's not wrong. It's just my head cannon. Why did I miss all of these? You can use insta death resistance option. Ooh. How does that even work though? Because insta death is usually pit or smash. I haven't even seen any insta death spikes in this game. Okay, got all of that crap. Got all of that. What's this? Voltatic chains. How did I miss that? That was the one. That was the item I did this level for. Whatever. How did I miss? Uh. Lux caliber. Oh, cool. The freaking Astrosphere was so incredibly nerfed in this game. I barely even remember to cast it. I hope Lux caliber is stronger. Attack power plus. It's, of course, it's incredibly expensive, so we can't use it yet. Uh, full auto. Eh, that's pretty expensive for how useful it is, honestly. Dowsing, Astrosphere. I probably don't even need the Septimal Shield, but I'll keep it on. Blood Gunvolt can be pretty OP, so we can do the job better than just about anyone. Yeah, they nerf him quite a lot. In this, though, the, you never had Privation. Privation is like crazy OP, but uh. uh I, I'm always just a few. You know what? I'm just gonna turn off. Uh. Astrosphere. Because it's so weak. Oh, oh my god! Please just. I wish you could just set it to default to saving. Alright, um, I'm gonna assume fire is good on this level. Oops, no! I don't know why, but I just have, I have so many struggles with that menu. Uh, heat. I hate that menu! And the menu hates me! Just save my changes, please! Um, anyway, yeah, the, so the localization, the original DS localization of Mighty Gunvolt, or not, the regular Gunvolt, um, it's, there's too many games involved in this game, it confuses my tiny brain. Um, they, they censored up Beck, and they, they cut off his ponytail, and hid his abs, so he's got a tiny little, you can barely see it, it's like five pixels. He's got this little tasteful ab window on his outfit. And it's like not even anything particularly extreme or anything. Oh, I guess there are insta death spikes. I hadn't noticed that before. Um, but he just has this little ab window and he's got a ponytail. And so to, you know, appeal to, you know, suburban moms or something who totally play anime games on 3DS, they, they wanted to chop off his ponytail and they hid his little ab window. It's not like his junk is hanging out of the top of his pants or anything, it's freaking his abs. Calm down. But, um... Yeah, I think we got his ponytail, but they did censor out the abs. And then... I think in later... In, in the second game, they just didn't chop up the game for idiotic reasons, so that's nice. And I think they released a later... I think the physical copy for 3DS... Well, there's the instant death spikes. Um, I think the, the physical copy for 3DS um, is unedited. I think they cut out some VN sections from the English release entirely. Because the second game has those and the first one doesn't. I'm not entirely sure how much the uh, next, the newer version was fixed. Because I had already beaten the censored version. And I didn't, I wasn't going to replay it just for that. Oh, frick. Wait, so where is this item that I'm looking for? Some, they chopped, I... Oh, did they chop out that much of the dialogue? I didn't even know about that part, because everybody... I mean, the censoring of um, Gunvolt's model was really obvious. Because, you know, we had seen... Like... You know, we had seen his character design, but... Uh, when I first played it, I didn't realize... Like, I thought it was just, like, classic Mega Man style. Basically no story. Um, did they ever restore the VN stuff? 
Because I know Gunvolt 2, I don't think Gunvolt 2 had any of the um, butcher shop censorship stuff. Oh, no, please. I want the smeekret. Give secrets, yes. Okay. Yeah, there's no daily in the video sessions. And lots more talking. Oh, so they did fix it in the PC version? Did they fix that in the physical 3DS version? Like I said, I have that, but I didn't want to replay it again. I just played Gunvolt 2. I thought it was kind of BS that there was no way to, like, transfer your save file. Because if I could, I would have played the, uh... I would have, like, continued my save file or something, but I don't think there was any way to do that. I think you can only transfer on 3DS. You can only transfer your save from... Uh, physical to digital, which is dumb. Yeah, if you got the two-pack, you got... You got the best version. You got the proper version. But I got the... Uh, I got it when it first came out, when it was digital. Because I, you know, I wanted to support it. It looked good. I love Inti Creates. Inti Creates is extremely good and pretty underrated, by the way. They, uh, did... They did the Mega Man Zero series and Mega Man ZX series of games. Which are actually my favorite uh, Mega Man games, just or series in general. Okay, we have stopped. I wonder if there's something in this ice. I need to I need to try that because I'm missing an item in this area and I don't know how. Oh, banana! I don't. Don't get any indecent thoughts about that banana, though. This is this is game this is for this is Babby game. I think we yeah, we missed the item that I replayed the level to get. Does anyone know where it is? I want that Luxcalibur. Yeah, all video games have to be suburban mom approved. No doki dokies. You gotta shave your hair off. Cut off your ponytail. This is the pew 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 guy. You have no idea how glad I am this game does not have voice acting. This is like one of the absolutely worst voice acted characters of all time in Mighty Mighty Number no. Nine. Obviously, no invincibility frames in this game. They usually make up for it by making the bosses a pain in the butt to hit for extended periods of time. Also, you have to mash pretty hard. There is an auto mash thing you can use, but obviously it costs. The customization system costs customization points, and you only have a, f a few to start with. It's a way so you can kind of grind and uh, progress, which is pretty cool. And they also did Mighty Number no. Nine to a certain extent. They're not. The, I mean, the thing is, anybody can publish a bad game. It doesn't. Any with the right publisher, or should I say, the wrong publisher, anyone can make a bad game, and it's not really anything to do with the dev team. There's only so much you can do to, you know, salvage a project that where the publisher just is incompetent or malicious or whatever. Hey, Unplugged. Does anyone know where the items are in this game? Because I... I'm apparently missing important stuff. I think in this level I was just missing the dowsing item. So I think I can find the stuff in here. Dowsing, by the way. Uh, it's customized. I think I'm gonna guess Smash. Hulk Smash is what? How is Smash an element, by the way? Oh, whatever. But how is how are Smash and Impact different things? I mean, Smash being an element is one thing. Excuse me. An analyzer. Analyzer is an element. What does that even mean? I don't... what? Okay. Impact, not smash. To smash rocks, you cannot use smash. You have to use impact, which is definitely not smash. Nah, I, I hate Mighty Number no. 9 to bits, but... This game's totally worth getting. You can just play it as Gunvolt. Just imagine that you're Gunvolt killing all of the Mighty Number no. 9 characters. That's basically what happens. 
Um, I don't know if you get to, you know, beat up Beck, but uh, everybody else you get to shoot down. And the gameplay is just good old Inti Creates, good Mega Man stuff. Nothing to complain about. How do I hit you? Uh, I think I have a Disperse thing I could do. Do I have any different bullet types? No. On screen bullets, method of fire, trajectory. Curve. Wait. What do you mean to ascend? I need them to go down. So let's fly straight and reflect off the terrain. And I'm just gonna leave that as homing. Uh, speed, piercing, duration. Bullet dissipation, I think I can do. Oh. Crap. Uh, need to nerf something. Oh, that's not gonna be enough. How much does that cost? Ah, oh, that's really close! Uh, full auto. Let's take off full auto. There, that, that should do it. Og menus, please! The menus are the true final boss. That has to be an item. Yes! Oh, that's just a pixel art thing. Ow. Oh, there's a secret. Ah, oh, it's nothing too fancy, but. Beck himself says you fight him? Oh. I wasn't really paying too much attention to the whole story situation. Wait, why did my dowsing not activate? Oh. Because I have the dowsing thing on, but I didn't off. Oh, uh, was that a thing? Hold on, I need to die. Terminate me. I saw a sneaker over to the right there. I hate when things do that. You have to fall. No, I'm tr I'm trying to- Lumen! Lumen, please, I'm trying to die. Alright. I hate when things do the thing where you have to fall down a shaft and if you don't, like, tilt to the right or whatever, which you can't even know until it's too late, uh, you miss a thing. Alright, so it was to the right. Alright. I knew those were suspicious, but whatever. Alright. I really like the, uh, the weapon system in this. It's, uh... It reminds me slightly of Gradius. It doesn't have the, uh... You know, the power-up meter of Gradius. Ooh, no! Please! Okay, good. Um... I don't even use the pixel things, but I, I still want them. I need them. Um... I, I like being able to customize my weapon and, you know, get upgrades and stuff. That's one of the reasons I actually do like, um, ow. Mega Man 8. I like the, the bolt system. Though I don't like that there's limited bolts and you can't actually get everything. That always bugs me. In, uh, in anything, basically. Oh, right, it's the middle one that's safe. Oh, fuck. No! Please! There we go. Please die. There we go. You got pixel number 105. Yeah, I don't even... I don't even know what uh, most of the pixel stuff is. Like, uh, you do get pixel art of the... Um, the whatchamacallits. This is a this is a cute area, by the way. You get invincibility, then you get to run over some spikes and stuff. Speaking of, please give me the yes. Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, but I'm actually using. You get uh, pixel art of the Gunvolt bosses, the Gunvolt one bosses. I'm using the. Uh, what is, what is even their name? The hermaphrodite character, or the kind of, whatever they are, I don't even. Oh, hey, accidentally used the bone, the right thing that's super effective. Oh my god, health. The, the one, the character you don't even get to fight in Gunvolt 1, 
Which is so rude. You fight them in Venom Vault 2 for some reason. Ah, crap. It's a bit more extreme than gender bent. Like. It's like canon self gender bending. Is it really gender bending if you. You fight them in Muddy Gun Vault? Did you? Oh, yeah. What exactly does Lumen do in this game, anyway? Does she, like, reduce damage? She definitely doesn't make you invincible. I can't really tell if she does more damage or not. It's really hard to tell exactly how much damage you're dealing with. I like how Details just shows you the letter. You have to press an extra button to see your letter. I think that's Hair Girl from Gumball 2. I'm just gonna get that 300 thingies. So we got all of those. What did I miss here? Trajectory crawler. Nah. Bloody hell, I can't find a way to change the screenshots to JPEG. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? Um. really want to replay that level the, the, that wasn't no I think that was a power up that item I missed I don't know how, where I would have missed that thing from uh, what's this crawler I missed two here how did I miss two here I had dowsing and everything does anyone know where the secrets are in the waterworks I don't really want to just bumble through that again well let's beat this last idiot here uh, what's this guy bus this guy is aviator because he's a human plane by human i mean robot but whatever his weakness is analyzer which is an element remember the anal the analysis element he's weak to critical analysis you just have to send him to tumblr and he'll explode death resistance. Wait, what? 20? I don't know what this means. Does that mean, like, how much damage you take from an insta-hit kill? Oh yeah, I know you're Kuzo. I knew you originally as, um... as unplugged, actually. Power up. Doesn't. This power up seems exceedingly unnecessary in this particular level. Alright, here we go. Ooh, what's this? Raigle Jeeva. Oh, for Pete's sake. I did not notice the spikes. I'm looking for gray. I'm looking for small gray spikes when I see. when I'm playing a Mega Man game. Not looking for giant gold spikes. That's just weird. Oh, so I don't have to get it again? Oh, cool. Okay. Not like it would have been hard to get it again anyway, but... Ow, please. Booby, please. Getting a good combo here. I'm not a huge fan of the get close and uh, no, please. Um, get close and spam fire to get maximum pointage system. Especially not since it resets every time you don't. So the burst thing means that you're really close to an enemy when it dies. And anytime that you kill an enemy not really close like that, you, uh, you break your combo. Which. I'm not playing with, you know, a sword or anything, so my Mega Man instinct is, you know, destroy things before they get close, because, you know, they get dangerous when they're close, but... 
matter. It's not like super important, and I don't even know what score. I don't think score really matters for anything other than maybe some achievements. Like, there's a couple that require like a certain burst score, but that's about it. Words to never use. What's wrong with damn it? it what, how exactly does damn it can correlate to heck a sweet? Which, who even says that? I mean, certain people would say hella sweet. Certain weird people that I don't like, but uh, I'm not seeing how that correlates to damn it. Just use snipping tool for screenshots. Why would you need... I wouldn't really trust EPSXE for that anyway. I, I try to use as very little of EPSXE as, as possible. It's extremely fragile and just explodes anytime I try to touch it. I think I did get it working. I don't remember why. I think I was trying to get... Uh, I was trying to get LSD working, but uh, LSD... Uh, there, there is only one emulator, like, specifically designed for LSD that uh, does not break, and it's, um, it's only in Japanese, and I could not get it to work. I'm not even sure if it's actually complete, but, like, this is a special emulator just for LSD, and I don't know. Oh, fuck. There's an item in Mega Man ZX Advent, I think, that, uh, Negates knockback when you get hit. It's surprisingly useful. Like not even because of like falling off of ledges like in like in this level. Uh, it can be surprisingly nice to just not move over when you get hit. Excuse you. I like how they just snap in half. They don't even explode, they just pop. Like that. So those are instant death too, that's nice. Good for them. Oh, for Pete's sake. Well, we're gonna have an awful score for this. You have infinite lives in this game, you just lose score every time you die. Which is... God damn it. Is there, is there a reduced recoil thing in the thing? Okay, I hate you so much. All right. Mega Man usually spares, you know, sends out the instant death pretty rarely, you know, just once you get to Wily's castle and so on. Otherwise, it's just like a few things. Oh God. I wouldn't say it's usually cheap either. This is, that was the worst thing I've ever seen. I've, I'm offended by that. Oh God, okay. That was just extremely rude. Also, it's kind of unfortunate that, um... Also, these are some really lame boss doors. I'm sorry. Yeah, Aviator Boy. Um... Ow. Excuse you! Um... That motion blur was not 8-bit, I'm sorry. The store page for this game... Oh, we're live streaming. He's streaming this to Twitch. How dare he? Oh, he's speeding it up. What? <laughs> he cloned me after I died. That's impressive. I really love the homing, because it lets you aim a little bit less. Though it only adjusts 10 degrees. You have to spend more CP to get it up. Alright, I have... Oh, I disabled that. I don't need to disable that. I think I'm gonna look up... Wait, aerial action. Oh, you can double jump! I can't afford double jump, though. I'll just turn on Astrosphere. I was wondering what the heck aerial action even meant. Why doesn't it just call it double jump? 
That doesn't make sense though, because Gunvolt has always been a double jumpy kind of guy. Food, please. Oh, holy crap, I had tons of food. There we go. But yeah, the, the store page for this game says it blurs the lines between 8 and 16 bit. And it's like, the graphics are clearly, they're that, you know, indie game 8 bit in like 18 quotation marks. Um, where it's like, vaguely attempts to, um, <laughs> minus 21,000. Or 2100. Um, it does that like, you know, it's... The colors are limited enough, and the chunk, the pixels are chunky enough that people would be like, "Yeah, that's vaguely NES-ish," but otherwise makes no real attempt to be 8-bit, which isn't really a, entirely a bad thing. Like, I wouldn't have enjoyed Axiom as Verge as much if it, you know, tried to be super 8-bit. Though, an Axiom Verge is way more accurate to 8-bit than like 95, 99, frankly, percent of things that call themselves 8-bit. It has actual 8-bit, you know, colors. And unlike most things that call themselves 8-bit, Axiom Verge actually looks good. Which is very rare for 8-bit things, frankly. I managed to defeat the 8, the eight mighty numbers. Jewel thinks those bad guys had some kind of septimal power, but she isn't completely certain. There should be no way that robots could possess septimal power, though. What the world's going on here? Why is my ponytail purple? Without any warning, snow began to fall from the sky. <laughs> Little chibi lumen. But the problem wasn't even... But the problem was, it wasn't even the slightest bit cold. It's ashes. I touched them and realized it wasn't snow at all, but rather little paint chips that look like they peeled off a wall. What? Oh, there's the blocks! It's the squares from, from... Oh crap. It's the, it's the entity, guys. I thought we'd beat you in one shot. Get out of here. I looked up and I saw the faux snow came from a fissure in the virtual space around me. I felt the presence of a strong septimal power on the other side of it. That's where you might find, but I had to check it out, so I jumped right in. Uh, element. You can now use the press option. <laughs> He's a news helicopter, so he has the press as an element. Amazing. He completed a challenge. What challenge did I complete? Hey, Pariah. If you, uh... If you really liked Axiom Verge and you don't normally enjoy Metroidvanias, I think you've just been playing the wrong Metroidvanias. Like, lots of games like to call themselves Metroidvania, but they're not really... Defeat all of the... Oh. We got... Afro Man sticker. Okay. Clear the game is back and you get totally not roll the sticker. I'm still mad we didn't get call E. She was the good one. She was the actually good one with like an original design. But no, of course we just get the one that looks like roll. Whatever. It's in a way it's good because that way call E isn't in a bad game. Why is that? Where is there a blooper for the pixel art for this one? Single pixel sticker. Item effectiveness up. Oh wait, that's probably just that's probably just like healing items. Crash bolt. Method of file or cluster shot. Ooh. I played Super Metroid, the original Metroid Fusion Zero Mission. That's pretty much it. The original Metroid isn't frankly very good anymore, and Super has its control issues. AM2R is extremely good though, and uh, Fusion's pretty good. It's less. It's a lot more linear, but it's still good. I really want to get that Lux Caliber. Hold on. Was that here? Um, I'll look up a guide, I guess. Skills. Lux Caliber. Where do I get it? Oh, this is gun. This is just a Gunvolt Two guide. This is not Mighty Gunvolt first. Uh, Gunvolt Crystal. 
Okay, I can't find where this is. Oh, whatever. I'll just go to the first Wily stage, I guess. Uh, customize. I still don't have any different bullet types. Yeah, the bumper thing is pretty bad and super. It's like, just didn't have quite enough buttons. I finally increase the speed instead of going down. Oh, cool. Initial speed. Oh, wait. Mid-air speed. That's less important. Uh, piercing. How much does piercing cost? A lot. I don't really need this diffusion. Bullet size. Honestly, bullet size isn't really that important. Attack power, though. I'm not really using the full auto, so I should charge shot, septum shield. I should probably get instant death protection considering we're in final boss territory here. Alright, jump! Double jump! Aw, oh, no! No, I have to have my double jump. Um. Whoa. Um. Sure. Bullet size isn't related to damage, is it? Oh, no. Menu's hardest boss ever. You would think you could just press B to get out of a thing, but but no. This game does not agree. Oh, we're in digital land. Definitely not that one level from, from Mega Man X 5? Well, there's been lots of Mega Man games where they have stuff like this. Mega Man, one of the Zeros has a uh, pretty good implementation of this too. Up. Up! I... I had a double jump, but I forgot to use it properly. Yeah, da the... Huh? Oh god. Whew. I figured that would be... Huh? Wait, where's the secret? Oh, there it is. I forgot what I was gonna say. Every fantastic game has some dumb crap it did. Especially older things. Like... Ah, oh, frick. Like, saying something is perfect is just generally pretty ridiculous. Like, Yoshi's Island had Poochie. Poochie ain't stupid. Or whatever. Ugh. And that was... Pretty much all of the, the extra levels for Yoshi's Island. They're kind of unreasonable, honestly. was never a huge fan of these sorts of sections. Oh, no! I was gonna jump off the thing! Oh my god. I'd, speaking of Yoshi's Island, I like how Yoshi's Island does these sort of, like, upwards auto-scroll things, because you're in a fairly high degree of control of what goes on. Because you can kind of make the thing go in any direction. And by kind of, I mean you can. Just do exactly what I said. And not kind of at all. Someone once said that double jumps are cheap, and I say double jumps aren't cheap. It's how you it's how you implement them. It's totally possible. Uh oh, well, it's fine because we had a double jump. It's totally possible to have double jumps are cheap in a game not designed for double jump. It's, 
double jumps in a game designed for double jumps. Uh, jumps that require proper double jumping can be drastically harder than jumps that only have a single jump. Look at uh, I want to be the guy and I want to be the Bashi, etc. And uh, those games would be drastically easier if they um, if they only had a single jump. It's it's all in what the game designer does with it. Eh, game Maker's fine. Ten Second Ninja is fantastic, and that's in Game Maker, especially the new Game Maker. Rest in pieces, uh, Pixel thing. Oh, good, good enemy placement. Thanks. Dark Souls. I mean, you gotta be- it's all about the crash now, my man. Crash 1 is the, the hardest game ever made of all time, forever. It makes Binding of Isaac look like a picnic. Someone actually said that. Someone, uh, there was a review that compared Crash to in- within the same, like, breath, Binding of Isaac, saying it makes Binding of Isaac look easy, to Super Meat Boy and Dark Souls, of course. And they actually edited, they edited in the Dark Souls reference after they published it too. They just, the original article was not outrageous enough, so they decided to add some Dark Souls. Found you, Beck. Gunvolt, you're a GM, what, what, suddenly dialogue, by the way. You're a GM, why are you causing all this trouble? GM, trouble, what are you talking about? Nothing else I can do, give me your GM powers. My name, my name's not GM. It's GV, Gun Volt, not Gun Molt. I have to kick his ass because he got my name wrong. Also because he's from Mighty Number no. 9, but also the name thing. Do I not have. Oh, right. The... I assume he doesn't have a weakness. Excuse me. Also, I strongly dislike how this game handles the uh, charge buster situation. Because uh, you have to set up a thing. Oh, hey, it's it's a uh, gunvolt boss. Okay, boy. Oh my god, it's Hacker Boy! <laughs> Best character from Gunvolt 2. Okay, boys, it's time to stop, Lols. Thanks for roughing up each other, though. I had a front row seat for the whole bout VIP section. <laughs> He's just an internet troll nerd loser, and it's pretty amazing. No way, it can't be Tessio? This guy's the infamous Tessio. He's a member of Eden, a group of super powerful adepts from all over the world. His power allows him to mess with the reality. He's a real life hacker. He just, he hacks life. He's amazing. This feels a lot like our last meeting. Wait a sec, all this chaos and constant fighting was all part of his devious little scheme. He's got- where have I seen that mask? I've seen that mask. Oh, that's Giro! That's the mask that Giro has on in, uh, Mega Man Advent- or Mega Man ZX. Oh my god, he's doing the clap emoji in 8-bit. Got tons of new vids to upload now. Ain't got no time for you jokers. These are gonna be epic! Oh no, don't touch his hand. That's dirty. Look at those seven pixels of abs. Salacious, naughty, hide your children, hide your wives. It's, it's inappropriate. Was, is this, is his ponytail actually purple at the back now? Gunvolt 2. I don't remember this, but it's possible. Oh, I guess it is. I always thought it was just like, let me toss this. You gotta avert your eyes if you know. If you need to play localized games, you gotta cover your eyes, but, because there's abs and it's dangerous. But yeah, I guess he does have, he's got like, he's got a whole gradient situation going on there. Huh. Okay, you can open your eyes again. Just chat got away from me. 
Since Beck and I were both left-handed, we started talking about everything that has happened so far. What? Oh, left behind. I thought it said left-handed. They're like, oh, we're, you know, we're the left hand buddies. Uh, we gotta go to the leftorium together. Seems like this whole thing was developed by the professor who created Beck to be used as a training stimulator. He's trying to find a way out of here too, just like me. Really sorry for attacking you. What, what is what is with the freaking like crotch piece on Beck? By the way, that that is inappropriate. That that is offending my suburban mom feelings. I need I need that e edited into a jelly donut for the children, please. I'm really sorry for attacking you. Would you be willing to work together so we can take back the real world? Get back to the real world? I held up my right hand and gave a firm nod. Together, we'll take down Tessio's twisted world. With that agreed on, we forge a partnership. Won't somebody please think of the children? Uh, item effectiveness. Does that increase the CP up or... Nah, I'm just going for the CP bonus because that's... Pretty significant. It's kind of neat that it encourages a replays. Uh, I kind of I actually like this system better than Gunvolt 1's um, whole kind of um, crafting process because there was too much RNG and grinding involved. It was just blurg. I wonder if there'll be any emojis for this stream. I don't know. Oh, his sprite does have a little purple. Huh. A little purple ponytail there. Um, what do we got here? Galvanic patch up. Ooh! Now you're talking. Shot stopper. Oh, there's the knockback resistance. Well, I'm not sure why it's in like one of the final levels in the entire game. Oh, you can sh see your score thing. I'm gonna do one more try to get the, uh, this is where the Lux Caliber is, right? Yeah, I want that. I'm gonna be right back though, I need to refill my drink. <laughs> 8 bit clap emoji. <laughs> so we can play clap and clapping party. Someone give me a screen of that bit of dialogue. Uh, yeah, I'd have to probably get that from the archive, but yeah, hold on a sec. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Star Control 2, the Urquhart Masters. Open source. Is that, is that the, like, Six Degrees of Freedom game you posted earlier? I'm not sure about that one. Um, not here's a huge fan of those. Plus, I'll probably just be playing my Switch this weekend, so I'll probably... I think I might do a via, a, like a, an upload for Kamiko um, and Great Soul Explosion Machine. I might stream some Breath of the Wild. Would people be interested in that? Or... Uh, 
I don't know. Is everybody tired of Zelda? I feel like everyone in the entire universe played Zelda. Um, when did it even release? Like 5,000 years ago. But uh, I still haven't. I'm going to crack into an ice cold peepus here. Oh, yes. Actually, Mount Mountain Dwa, but what is? Um, what? Oh, hey, I can. I just realized. Um, I can drop my damage and my protection. I think this duration. Oh, it's not that expensive. Um. I can drop that damage and I can do like a billion air jumps. Oh, that's not that expensive, really. 16,000 for three air jumps. Crash bolt. What is crash bolt? A bolt of lightning strikes where you stand. This can act without using any SP. What is that? Ah, oh, for Pete's sake, yes. Crash bolt. Is that new? Okay. Why well, is everyone typing Zelda? Because I called it Zelda. At least I think I did. I usually call it Zelda. I was so tired of Zelda I traded in after beating it twice. I mean, I don't even intend to beat it more than once. In fact, I think Link to the Past and uh, the N64 Zeldas might be the only ones I've beaten more than once. I'm not usually a big beat games multiple times person in general. Arg. I'm so glad that these Sniper Joes only take two hits. Best feature of this game beats all classic Mega Man games. I hate Sniper Joe. He's a terrorist. I'm sorry. These guys do not give me any particular grief. I, I really enjoy... Like, Sniper Joe is like, I don't know, I just have a lot of trouble killing them in a single cycle. I think they must have more health, right? Oh, I'm still at the BRB screen, sorry. I, I, should, I shouldn't use the BRB screen, because I always forget it. I use it so rarely that, like, when I do use it, I forget. You could have said that, like, ten minutes ago, though, but, like, well, not ten minutes, but whatever. Yeah, you said it after I'd already done it. No soup for you. I, I, I'm i really not seeing where these items could possibly be. Excuse me. I, ow. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to break every single piece of ice, but... Like my, my, oh. My sonar, or my dowsing thing, is not going off anywhere in this level. Did I miss? Does, does anybody notice something that I've missed? Do I need to go this way? Wait, what? Do I need to go this way? I don't think I've ever gone this way. Maybe it's maybe it's just in here. That would be so rude, though. No, I went in that. Uh, what I'm thinking is, I went in that crack last time. Oh, hey, I want to try something else too. I'm so glad you can change the customization. No, um, mid thing. Wait, can you copy? Can you clone? Oh, yes, you can. Okay. Because my I, my thought was like copy a bunch and then like just make one of each element or something. I usually just edit the same one. Uh, what was I gonna do? Trajectory homing, wave. Oh, it's the uh, spazzer or whatever it's called. Amplitude. Wait, like average. Reflect. First reflection angle. Bounce off ceilings? No. 
But yeah, I'm just gonna stick with homing. Homing range, average is fine. Max angle, 90. Whoa. Homing accuracy, average, yes. Oh, that's very expensive. Um, I think I can still make this work. How much is Crash Bolt? I don't need that. All right. Wonder what combo speedrunners use? Yeah, I don't know. This can make for interesting, like, any percent. Oh, I was right! Oh, damn it! See, I... <laughs> There's multiple paths in this stage, apparently. Ah. That must be a routing nightmare to, like, determine what the best thing is. Unless it's something is super OP. Um, routing is one thing. In speedrunning, I don't, I don't know if I would ever really want to do too much. Bunny Must Die has fairly simple routing. At least. Because, you know, it's a Metroidvania and you kind of unlock things in a certain pattern anyway. Excuse me. Hmm. I'm just clearing every block because I'm so paranoid. I want that thing. Ah, there it is, Luxcalibur. Okay. Oh, there's an orange in that ice. It's gone. Oh, dead. Oh, you want the 8-bit clap emoji? Oh. Get out of my way. Uh, I guess I could do the 8-bit clap emoji. I wonder, does anybody know if the item potency power-up thing um, affects the S, the, the CP items? I think Tristan is the only one in chat, if he's even still in chat, who's uh, played this. But Oh, oh! I forgot I had equipped an item! <laughs> Stupid me. I for totally forgot I had equipped an item that uh, drastically increases the damage I take. In fact, I don't even think I need that. Because I removed some other stuff. How much is Luxcalibur? Higher the burst combo. Oh no! Well, we'll see how it goes. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Oh, frick. I'm not entirely sure about this 90 degree <laughs> homing thing. It seems a little dumb at times. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, I really need to take off <laughs> that takes so much damage thing. That's pretty intense. Um, on screen balance, homing. Th th this, this homing is not really as cool as I thought it would be. Uh, now I can turn on my Septimal Shield again. Yeah, three times damage. Alright. I guess I can turn on all of my abilities now. Oh. <laughs> Why is Crash Ball so expensive? I guess because it's free. Yes, yeah, so that's just how it came out. I've been trying to say Frick. Um... The funny thing is, I've been trying to say Frick, so I, or just generally swear less. I actually have started saying Frick in real life, but like, if just genuine emotions happen on stream, I do. <laughs> I've still been swearing. It's not really a huge deal, but I, some people have appreciated it in other videos that I'm not, you know, just a swearing mess and so on. Um, I don't really feel it's very necessary. I don't really need to be Rage Gamer hates games, um, so... But, uh, I do need to cover games that are, like, M-rated and so on. So, 
I can't be like completely swear free or kid friendly. I mean, I gotta, you know, I gotta be able to show naughty, naughty, sexy, sexy midriffs like Gunvolt's got. So, you know, obviously there's gonna be some suburban mother inappropriate material on the stream. Just gotta cover your children's virgin eyes. Ow. Oh, right. Could be worse, I guess. Could be worse. That th that skill is so freaking overpowered in uh, in Gumbolt. It like knocks off a whole phase of a boss. Oh, you gotta be able to stream Senator Kagura too. So, yeah. That that's an extremely suburban mom unfriendly stream. There's even abs in Senator Kagura too, which is even. Worse than the boobs. Wait, what? I was still missing a thing? Whatever, it's just... It's just customization points. Trajectory crawler. Blech. What's this one? Voltatic chains. Eh. Lux caliber is really the important one. I'm gonna farm some more CP, though. What's Mr. Gunface's skill or weakness freeze i think i think this is battalion abs i require my fainting couch yes abs are just the lewdest thing in the entire universe completely wildly inappropriate ow reminds me i haven't finished the new seasons of archer in fact i only saw the first one where they like do a reboot or something they're like on a tropical island or something is that on, that's on Netflix, right? I have my parents' Netflix, but I, I've logged into it once or twice. I've only ever logged into it because of company or, um, I was trying to watch uh, Babylon 5, which by the way, um, let me see if this is still active, but it's on the site called Go90, uh, Babylon 5. I think it's still alive. Like, I, I mean, I think they still have the rights, yeah. So this site, I've never heard of this before. It's like, it's not a torrent site, it's just a legit site. Uh, Go90, it has all of Babylon 5. Uh, it, not the movies, unfortunately. But, uh... Babylon 5 had a lot of made-for-TV movies, too. But, uh, if you never watched Babylon 5, if you... It's like Star Trek, but with, like, a plot, frankly. Um, oh god. It, it's really telling when you watch Babylon 5. You can tell the... Uh, you can tell the spoiler or the, the the filler episodes and they just feel like a normal Star Trek episode frankly The the filler is normal Star Trek quality. I, I like Star Trek, but it's it's Until I guess like Void like well, there is uh, Deep Space Nine which really tries to be Babylon 5 It really doesn't get all the way there though But uh, yeah, Babylon 5 is one of my favorite shows ever Yeah, I had never heard of it. Is it like a thing for like a bunch of 90s show or something? Or is that why it's like 90? Because Babylon 5 is from the 90s. Also, don't judge Babylon 5 by the CG in the first season. The first season CG is a lot worse. And um, it's not really a big part of the show in the first place. But um, some people get scared by the CG. And something to remember about Babylon 5 CG. Um, Babylon 5 came out the same year as Reboot that awful looking like all CG show. So it looks pretty damn good in comparison considering it was a TV show. They have original programming too? Huh. I had never heard of this thing before. I was just searching for it. And I was about to, you know, look for some, you know, untoward sites to find it. But I found this thing that just had all of them. And I, I honestly expected it was gonna be some kind of like torrent site or, you know, one of those things with like, you know, adds out the wazoo, and you know, it's obviously all illegal, but uh, no. It's just fine. It is a bit of a shame that it doesn't have the movies, though, because the very, the beginning of Babylon 5 is actually a movie. They give you enough context in, um, in shows that reference the stuff that happened in the first movie uh, to understand it, but uh, it's kind of a shame. 
Verizon's advertising campaign for GoTarget. Oh, yes, millennials! They're killing everything. You gotta target them. You have to get their precious millennial dollars. Okay, maybe that does less damage than I thought it did. I guess I don't have a combo. Maybe I had a combo before. Oh, wait. I'm not using the right thing for you. I think you freeze this guy for some reason, because Frost is bad for, for guns somehow. I figured he'd be weak to heat, because I mean, guns overheat, you know, whatever. Yeah, Verizon loves those millennials. Everyone both loves, every brand both loves and hates millennials. It's amazing. This is the one boss that I actually use Astrosphere on. It's like free damage, I guess, in general, because there's not invincibility frames, right? So, but uh, this is the one where it's like actually pretty genuinely useful. Oh crap. Uh oh, bad. Also somehow the explosions from the bullets do damage, but the bullets themselves, like, they just, <laughs> the bullets do not actually exist. Oh, they have a show hosted by MatPat? Huh. They really are targeting millennials. I gotta say, the Wii U Pro controller is quite comfy. It's not quite Xbox One Elite controller, but it kind of steals the softer grips kind of idea. I guess, I guess the PS4 kind of has the soft grips too. It's so, it, it's kind of underrated how extremely good all major controllers are as of this current generation like with with gen 7 things were shaping up but you had the wii which was basically awful unless you were using it for a motion game um and you had the ps3 controller which had um it had some issues and then there was uh do i really want that element can't be worth it um I'm just going through to get the CP bonuses. Um, what was I talking about? I completely forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, controllers. So yeah, um, and the 360 had the, just the worst freaking D-pad ever. Um, but now all of the controllers are very, very good. In fact, it's even it's hard for me to even pick a favorite. I would still say just barely the PS4 controller, but not counting the Xbox One Elite controller. I think, I think it, if you could get me a good battery in an X or a PS4 Elite controller with the swappable sticks and features of the Xbox One Elite, that would be the perfect controller. It would also probably cost, you know. Well, I have an Xbox One Elite controller, so I mean, it would probably cost whatever that did. The, 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 the Xbox One Elite controller is not perfect because it unfortunately uses the uh, crappy same the same stick base as the 360 controller or the yeah the 360 and the Xbox One they use this base that will eventually stick drift just can't avoid it it will eventually stick drift it might be tomorrow it might be you know five years from now but they just will always eventually go a little bit bad which really sucks because they're good sticks otherwise but the durability just isn't there and it's really weird for them to have kept that design for the xbox one pads my xbox one elite controller is still perfectly fine i don't i don't know i i think it's like just random when it happens uh but yeah Also, the dowsing in this game is actually the first HD rumble I have experienced. I mean, it it's rumble. I don't, I don't know. I guess you gotta play 1-2 Switch, everyone's favorite game, to get the true feeling of 1-2, or er, of uh, HD rumble. But, uh, I can't believe, 1-2 Switch has almost as many, it has like half as many reviews on, um, on uh, Best Buy as Breath of the Wild, and it has like three times as many as uh, poor uh, Bomberman, which is such a shame. If you want a party game, 
and you're willing to spend $50 on something that's not like amazing. Get Bomberman. Don't get freaking one to switch. Ugh. I'm so I'm upset that that game exists, frankly. This is some high quality cars, by the way. But yeah. I, I, it seems to have at least critically for sure, but it seems to have been a flop. So hopefully we won't get more games like one to switch. One to switch is frankly exactly what I don't want to see for the switch ever. I want to see crap like this. And you know, crap like Breath of the Wild and Mario. There's a lot of cherry ads in this city. I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, smashed up cars. Mr. Blade Man, brandish. Okay, what's your thing? Brandish, smash. You gotta smash him. Cause I mean, he's got swords. The swords are weak to being smashed. You know? Obviously, extremely logical element setup. This is why, and God damn it, this menu. It'll be the death of me. Um. Um, in Mega Man Zero and Mega Man ZX, there's only three elements plus neutral, and, um, ow. <sighs> thanks, thanks, Jewel. Um, no, no, do the thing! Oh. That seems to, did, did I lose my combo or something? Because that did not seem to do as much damage as it should have. No. No. Yeah, Mega Man ZX and uh, Zero, they only have three elements. And so you can always tell what weakness a boss is. And uh, their weaknesses are a lot more moderate than classic Mega Man. Like, they don't have like 18 billion frames of hit stun or like lose their invincibility frames or stuff like that. Is he throwing helicopters at you? Yes, he was. Well, riding them down or whatever. Look at this seller advertising from GameStop. It's not going to be copy that. Buy two, get one free, buy pre owned. What am I looking at other than the crappy sale in the background? Look closely. Wario. Wait, is that a 3DS game? That's a DS game! Isn't it? Uh, or is that? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, because it's kind of... Uh, let me show this on stream so you know what I'm gawking at. Buy two, get one free. Buy a pre-owned 3DS games with purchase of new 2DS XL. There's definitely no brand confusion in the Nintendo 2 3DS XL Extreme Family for Kids Lite Switch Edition. Oh, yeah, let me show you just because, just because that reminds me. Let me just show you a beautiful masterpiece for the ages. Um, gonna go to at the Xbone on Twitter. Best Twitter account ever. No. What the? So Twitter doesn't like to thread tweets anymore. I, like, I replied to myself and the tweet didn't thread. Like, I basically got shadow banned from replying to my stealth. This, this is the best. This is what you gotta get your kids for Christmas, everybody. The new very hard Nintendo 2DS XL Dong Switch and Knuckles. 7.8 out of 10 featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. In stores this June. Which is last month. That's how good it is. Alright, that just came out today, didn't it? I mean, as the... the, the 3DS XL, or the 2DS XL, like I said, zero branding confusion at all there. There's no way you could accidentally say or think or purchase the wrong thing. Um, the 2DS XL isn't bad in terms of like, it has the clamshell design. Uh, it's not too expensive. Uh, great library you get access to. And uh, the 3D, you're losing nothing with the 3D. If anything, losing the clamshell was significantly worse than losing the 3D. Honestly. All right, we have to do this stupid level. Yeah, I posted that on Kirby Facts because it's a good way to get 
some very good Kirby games. I would say they're the best Kirby games we've gotten in years, but they're also the only Kirby games we've gotten in years. Oh, there's also... Um, there is uh, Rainbow Curse, though. Rainbow Curse isn't bad, but both DS, 3DS Kirby games are still better than it. So 3DS XL is the, the, the perfect version of the thing. Does it actually have any features above the, um, the whatchamacallit, though? Oh, yeah, I think I can't get... I already got the thing in there, though. Like, isn't the, the, the 3DS, the new 3DS XL the best one? All right, does it have the new, it's 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 the new one with the CPU boost, right? I honestly forgot that was even a thing. That's how good the branding of the 3DS line is. There's like entire major revisions that I just completely do not recall exist. How did I miss this? Isn't the new 3DS minus the 3D? I think, but wait, does it have the nub? The nub is, well, the nub is terrible, but of, like, it, it has a feature. Oh, it does have the nub. The awful nub. I hope to never use a 3DS again, frankly. That's why I don't own the uh, new Kirby game yet, or the new, it's like a mini game. It's not a big deal. I didn't buy any of the other ones any, either. The, cause they're all like, DD's Drum Dash, I hate that game. I'm not good with mobile game, or, er, uh, what am I trying to say? Music games, rhythm games. Oh god. Um, and um, what was the other one? Kirby the Fighters is like that's like you know, that's like one eighth of Smash Bros. That's for playing with friends. I had honestly forgotten the nub was a thing. It's not a particularly good thing. Like it, it doesn't work very well. It's for Monster Hunter only, basically. In almost any other game, it's a huge pain in the butt to use. It's just so tiny and bad. But if you want to play Monster Hunter, I I can't believe Monster Hunter has been on a console. It's the it's almost always been on the absolute worst console to play it on since its inception. Because like the PSP, I don't know how. Like the PSP and the DS and 3DS playing Monster Hunter on. The way it was Monster Hunter ever on normal DS? Anyway, I can't play that crap with with the DS. I need a proper controller. And I'm very glad that Switch lets me play, like... I'm really hoping that Nintendo was lying with the whole, oh, we're gonna do support the 3DS. All hundred years, Morty, all hundred years. 3DS and Morty forever. Totally not gonna kill it for the Switch. Yeah, I hope they were, you know, just blowing smoke up people's asses, because I really don't want the 3DS to live forever, because it's... I really do not enjoy operating it, and now that I have a Switch, I really, frankly, hope to never operate my 3DS ever again. It just hurts. It hurts. I have big hands, I guess. And it depends what you play, but, like, I play lots of Mega Man-like games on 3DS, and... Like I said, it hurts. If you use the shoulder buttons a lot, that's particularly what gets me. Because I need shoulders to dash in uh, in most of the new Mega Man style games. I do not know what I missed. Oh wait, did I get did I get the item I missed already? I think I might have actually. Oh yeah, Monster Hunter in particular is murder. And prolonged sessions of Mega Man games can get pretty hard because the... Like, with Mega Man Zero, if you want to get S ranks, you're pretty constantly hitting... Alright, what's this idiot weak to? You're pretty constantly using the dash button, which is the shoulder, and that those buttons hurt. Um, what's this guy called? Counter Shade. Shock. Okay. I really don't have like, having to go in through this, con this whole thing to uh, just change the element. First, I don't mind this video to extend focus on the 3DS considering the install base. Yeah, but the thing is, like, 
they're trying to pretend. Like, w what they're saying when they're ex extending the 3DS, it makes it sound like the Switch is not replacing the 3DS. And it makes it sound like the, the Switch is only replacing the Wii U. Which kills, like, 50% of the whole reason for the Switch to ever even exist at all. Which is to be a one one platform that you buy everything on. And you, whether it's, you know, a console game, quote-unquote, or a handheld game, you just play it on your goddamn Switch, because it doesn't matter, it's just the Switch. That is, like, the thing. That is the... That is why you get a Switch. That That's the, the whole deal. But... Okay, the Lux Caliber is not very good at all. Um, wait, what? Did I not equip the right thing? Freeze? Oh wait, no, it's Shock, not Freeze. Yeah, they do tend to say that every gen. I can't imagine after the Fire Emblem thing. I can't imagine there's very much left. And it makes me sad because I don't even want to play the Pikmin thing. Though it doesn't look like a particularly great Pikmin thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh. Get out of here! Aw, oh, you frickin' butt! Um... Yeah, the Pikmin thing doesn't look particularly great. Switch is way better mobile than it is at home. The fact that Nintendo is not pushing this and still money thanks to the 3DS. It's a very Nintendo business decision. I don't know. I think it works perfectly fine at home. It just... It serves... Well, look at my library. So, four of these five games work completely 100% fine in either mode. Zelda, you know... Zelda would run better if it was on PS4. But all the other stuff doesn't wouldn't ever need that. So, it's... Anything that would have been on 3DS is going to run completely, like, amazingly on this. Anything that would have been on Wii, Wii U, I mean, at least it's better than Wii U. I mean, pretty easy to say, but, um, you know, it's not the bestest, most powerful home console, but it's still acceptable, especially for anything Nintendo-ish, because nothing Nintendo was going to be, well, it's almost, that's kind of a shame to say. It's kind of... So the whole thing where, like, Nintendo never cares about graphics and blah blah blah. Uh, just care about good games, man. It's like, that's such a weird thing to hear people say. Because that's so incredibly not true uh, long term. Like, the, the SNES was all about power. The N64. I mean, they freaking called it the N64. They named the goddamn console after how many CPU bits it had. That That is, like... Even the PS4 would not be like, yeah, we're the freaking PlayStation 4 billion transistors. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they were completely super all about the graphics and the tech. I mean, look at Star Fox. Look at, um, even Yoshi's Island. People forget that these games were tactical marvels, but it was, like, all about that. Even the NES was quite good for its time. Though they, <laughs> the NES is funny because they had to market it as an entertainment system. It's not a- it doesn't play games. Games are bad because, you know, Atari screwed the entire market. But, um... It's so weird that people played, you know, video entertainment devices at home for TB. They're not games! They're not games, Mom! Video entertainment! Mm. I don't understand. I don't understand how that happens. The 90s are a strange- or the 70s and 80s were a strange and terrifying time. Also, it's obviously a true final area, or... We're obviously in Wily's castle, because there's spikes everywhere. Yeah, I do get you what you mean, though. It's... It's a better 3DS replacement than it is a Wii U replacement. Uh-oh. And it's really dumb for them to be like, Nah, it's not replacing anything, bro. It's just, you know... It's just here. The 3DS is just gonna get games forever. Nintendo's never gonna make another portable. The, the portable thing that people play games on currently is totally not a portable. It's, you know, it's a home console. Forever. Only. Home console. Real. Well, they marketed the NES that way because everyone was afraid of video game systems. Yeah, but like, that's the thing, it's like, they're, they're clearly video games. Like, 
I don't even understand how people in the 80s, like, I know the 80s were, like, basically medieval times with people, you know, living inside of dead oxen and so on. But I don't understand how people got fooled by that. Or did people even get fooled? Like, I don't... It just seems so incredibly stupid. And then there was the 90s. The 90s were a terrifying time. If you see my Kirby streams, you've seen the amazing, incredibly in-character Kirby ads they had at the time. There we go. I don't think anyone actually cared about it. Yeah, it's one of those things where, like... It just seems like the marketing team, you know, filleting themselves. Like Bannon probably does. Bark brr, brr. I could not read that at all. That's actually kind of neat. They have the, uh, the pixel accurate scaling issues. Though, I don't think NES could do that. So it's still not really 8-bit, but... That does look kind of reasonably retro. Which is good enough. It's retro enough, right? Maybe it's surface area. I wonder if the surface area matters for the Luxcalibur. That's possible. Oh. Have you ever noticed how much final bosses like doing jump rope? Like, they freaking love jump rope. Oh. Just eat some foods. Said Briar Guardian. Ah. Pfft. Totally not a devil. It's definitely not a devil, you know. Extremely not yellow devil. I love how even in the Mega Man Zero series we got uh, we got some devil. We got the Rainbow Devil. I don't think there's any devils exactly in Mega Man ZX games. No, nah, there's not. But uh, we got a couple in Mega Man uh, X and, and at least one in Zero. IO Studios is making a new IP. This, this quickly? Huh. I figured they'd be set back by the whole... That's the Hitman uh, studio, right? Let me make sure I'm talking about who I think I am. I, there's an entirely different IO Studios that is makes websites. Am I talking about IO Interactive or whatever it is? Hitman developer. Yeah, IO Interactive. Yeah. Thought that was just slightly off. Yeah, they just got dropped from Square Enix. Where did... Did they get a publisher or what's going on? Galvanic Patch. So that's like healing thing. I guess I'll get that. That's a cute Gunvolt sticker though. Oh, speaking of stickers, let's change our sticker. I haven't changed that for 18,000 years. I don't- I haven't changed it for so long, I completely forget how to change it. I don't even know who that is. Oh, I think these are girls from Galgun. Yeah, because there's Eroko, or uh, Koro. Whatever her name is. Evil Beck. Not distinguishable from normal Beck. How do I change the thing? HUD? Score. Burst. Alright, I like the HUD settings because you can disable a lot of the uh, the heads up display crap. Because this is a little health bar that I turn off. Food items. The food items are very unnecessary. I guess it reminds you that you have them, which is nice. Um, apparently these are ex-Hitman devs, but not IO. Oh, okay. That makes a bit more sense. I think IO is still gonna be okay, but I assume they'll be restructuring or whatever the heck for a while. Uh, custom shot icon. I don't really need that. Custom shot effects, don't really need that either. Combo, sure. Character specific HUD. I don't think I even have one of those for GV. It, it, and the apply diff button is different for all of the different things. Ah, here we go, the avatar. 
All right, let's see who we can be. We can be Hacker Boy. Uh, a lot of these are fairly uninspired. Um, <laughs> you can be less this guy from the first Gumvolt. Um, who is this? All right, isn't that the Doctor Light character from 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 Totally Not Mega Man? Real. Um, let's be Copen. I actually like Copen better than Gumvolt. I like how he plays better. Confirm cancel button normal reverse. Oh, that's probably like the Japanese style or whatever. I'll just leave that. Ong! Apply. Apply, you swine. Why does the Itch.io app create like 15 processes? It's because it's based on Chrome. It, that's also why if you have weird issues in Chrome while Itch.io is open, th that's, that's why. Dystopia. Oh dang, we have lots of CP. That's why we were doing that. I almost forgot about that. Do I still have no dart types? I'm starting to think you never get dart types, at least for GV. Oh, you can sort. Oh, okay. Right, crash bolt voltage. Strike all enemies across the screen with powerful lightning. Higher the burst combo. Ah. Maybe that's why Astrophere seems so weak. Does that work like that too? Marquee text. The best way to read a description of all time. The higher the burst combo. Okay. That's why these feel so weak then. How much was Lux Galibur? Eh, not that much. When set to on, your health reaches zero. You will automatically use a random food item to restore your health. Oh! Ah, 500, that's kind of expensive. Yeah, I'm gonna go for two double jumps, that's usually enough. Knockback resistance, less knockback. <laughs> More knockback? Oh god, no. Instant death resistance. Ah, that's fine. Septimal shield, that should be plenty. Charge shot. Eh. Can I do max auto? Oh no! Goopy, please. Dissipate duration. I can go for a little bit less duration. Ah. Okay, I can't go for that little duration. Piercing none. Speed average trajectory. See, this is why I'm going for all of this extra crap. Because I want to be... I want, I want the craziest, best gun ever. Forever. Kill, that shoots like 18 billion bullets per second and all of them huge that explode into other smaller bullets and home on things and all of that. I love get when games let you do crazy crap like that. Yes! Oh wait. I didn't want to do this yet. Oh. Whoa. It's a burger! Give me that burger, sir. Oh, heck yeah! Misplace your dis. Alright, I actually want to go and do some replay some other stages. Whoa! Mode 7 time. <laughs> There's a gun vault stage just like this. Does it turn into blood swords? Freaking suburban moms will hate this game. One weird trick to hate make suburban moms hate you. I just realized you can like switch in the triple jumps at any time if you need to get in. If you need to get a... Oh wait, here we go. Oh, this is a thing. Can I just leave? You'll be able to retain the following. Treasure items. Oh wow! It's very generous. I don't usually have any chromes open that I switch to Twitch as massive memory leaks in Firefox. Just... Oh dang, we dropped some frames. I think we're still okay though. Yeah, does, does Firefox still have memory loss or memory leaks? That's actually why I switched to Chrome for the first time was because Flash stuff just had so many problems in Firefox. That's how long it's been. Flash was a significant problem at the time. 
Poor Flash. Flash games are very important, and I, I want them to be preserved. But uh, it's good that it's been removed otherwise. I don't want Flash to die, I just... Sites needed to not be made in Flash, that's all. Sure, whale platform. Oh right, this level. This effect that's definitely 8-bit and could to totally happen. Real. As much as I joke, I'm glad they don't actually go 8-bit. Like, full hardcore 8-bit. I, I just wish they had gone full hardcore, like, 16-bit. That is a very good look. Or full hardcore, like... PlayStation 1 pixel art game, 2D pixel art game, that is a good look. Um, I wish more games would go the like PlayStation 1 sort of route. Ow. So this is an interesting level. Whenever you put out your gun for some reason, you're not attracted to the things. Your coat somehow protects you from magnets. It's an anti-magnetism coat. It's a freaking Faraday cage coat. Faraday coat. Real. I'm sorry, I never get tired of that. That's my- the- the- that like, one-off, incredibly stupid and random joke is my favorite thing from that entire stupid game. That and I am honestly glad he is dead. <laughs> True compassion. In fact, in the Discord, we have an Uncle Proton um, icon, or emoji, and the, the code to use it is just real. Excuse you. Not sure what I would have missed in here. I like how the furnace is somehow so hot it reflects bullets. Physics. Yeah, Mega Man Sprite game. It's amazing. I'm surprised you haven't seen us babbling about it before. It's absolutely hilarious. I highly recommend... Uh, I have the, the VODs on YouTube. Ow. I'll take that. Oh, hey, Tristan, does, um, does Beck get different upgrades? I don't think I'll play as Beck, but I was going to try Eroko next, or Ekoro. I keep calling him Eroko. Uh, I just kind of assume her name has something to do with Arrow, because the game she's from. Oh right, is, is, uh, is Gunvolt- oh. Not Gunvolt. Is Galgun actually good? No one actually notices that the pun for Mighty Gunvolt includes Galgun, by the way. Um, uh oh. I like this, because you, like, I think you could possibly mash faster than this, but it kind of makes that you don't need to mash. That was a good sentence. The, but the speed of this means you don't need to mash. But yeah, was, um, was Galgun Double Piece good? I actually got a Steam key for that, but I actually never <laughs> ended up playing it. I just have so much crap. I need to get to a lot of Steam games. Oh yeah, I know what it is. I have it, I actually have, it came with my 360. I bought a Japanese 360 that came with a bunch of games. And, um... I remember this duder. Wait, what's Pyroface's weakness? Dynatron, I'm gonna assume he is? So Slicer? Fire guy, weak to slice. Sensible. Realistic. Real physics-based damage system. Slice the fire guy to make him not fire. Yeah, I know that Galgun, it's like a. Oh. Oh, that's not it. Wait, who is this then? Oh, Pyrogen. Oh, it's a press. I'm sorry. Slicing is not. Slicing is obviously not how you hurt a fire guy. You, you press them. I don't think I have that element. I think that's the element I just said, who cares on. That's fine. 
Yeah, Galgun's like a uh, rail shooter, but you shoot like pheromones into girls for reasons. Or do you like? I don't. I actually don't entirely know what goes on. But I only played it because uh, it came with my. I got a Japanese 360 so I could play uh, shoot 'em ups. Which then all of the, almost all of those shoot 'em ups ended up coming to Steam. But I still have Al. I still have some exclusives, and they're. I have the physical copies, so they're worth more stuff. Freeze? Are you sure? It says press. I'll try it though. I thought the gun guy was weak to freeze. Which is also completely sensible and real. Yeah, nah, he's weak to press. Which is different from impact and also smash. Three completely different elements from different things. Real physics. Dead. Basically, Cupid shoots. Basically, Cupid shoots you by accident. Every other the city falls in love with you. We only love specific girls. So you have to best. Oh yeah. yeah. You make people swoon. It's you. Everyone requires a fainting couch in that game. You completed a challenge. Hooray! What did I do? Clear the stage with... Oh, I see. What are these certain condition ones? Oh! It tells you! Well, that's nice. Clear the following conditions. On-screen bullets, one. Initial speed, fast. Cannot change your equipment during the stage. I see. Alright, we're not gonna do that right now. I just want all of the 300 CP things. So I can use maximum... crap. Oh my god, are we dropping more frames? Do I have to frickin' drop a, my bitrate again? It is after 8, so that seems to be when bitrate tends to go to crap. I still don't know why. I'm gonna try and... I don't know, my, my next option I guess is to try to replace my hardware. Um... Medicom always has a different story, and the latest one they told me is that it might be the hardware at my end. <laughs> Did Twitch block that because of the word orgasm? That's amazing. Especially considering Twitch is a site that has an emote called Craigasm, and apparently they auto-block orgasm. Like, you didn't even use a crude word for it, like, come on, Twitch. No, no innuendos intended. No innuendo intendo. You're a mod, son. You can't. Are you sure? I see it allowed a message. I'm not sure if you see the mod actions. Nine shots. You're killing me! Oh, holy crap! Oh, I can't get that yet, though. 16 shots a second. That is awesome. Stationary firing when set. You can no longer attack while moving. What? Why is that only 150 CP? Oh, no, I did not see mod actions. Uh, uh. Oh, I don't think I can... It's a death resistance. Dazzling man. I get freaking ridiculous. I, I, I need, I need 16 per second. Oh, holy crap. That's a lot. Um, actually, maybe, maybe I can't. I can disable homing. Wow, even that is not enough. I just, I just can't do it yet. Um, let's try this wave shot though. Bullet dissipation. Diffusion. Explosion? Number of explosions. Detonation. Oh, only small. No, I want explodes. All of the explosions forever. 
All 100 years. Duration, bullet size, attack power. Don't think I can. No, it's expensive. Uh, what's the trajectory? Wave amplitude. No. Wavelength. Oh, pff. why do these have options I can't set? Whatever. Uh, that should be. That's that's plenty. Stay orgasm again. <laughs> Uh, you have to wait for the... I think you have to wait for the explosions to end to, uh... Oh, maybe you don't. I can't tell. I'm not sure how useful these explosions truly are, though. Wait, it bumps into the ground sometimes? That explosion sound is actually pretty annoying. Let's go back to good old Diffuse or whatever it's called. Bullet Anticipation, Diffusion. Oh dang, that's actually cheaper. about 500 so I think I can do a pierce sure oops hmm. so I wonder I think I'm missing the first item slot does that mean it's the first item like Chronologically in the level. Wait, why am I getting burst from things that are far away? Is that a power of the? Is that what the power up does? Why did that? I totally shouldn't have gotten some of those bursts. Oh yeah, tweet deck and Twitter in general. Uh, can eat up a lot of RAM because, especially if you leave it open for a while, you know, it just keeps loading in new crap, so. Like, st some stuff gets off screen, but I'm not sure if it's ever, like, properly and fully deloaded. My luck, Tweetin. Yes, Tweetin is, I do believe, Chrome. It's just a web view of uh, TweetDeck with basically some new features, which is all it really needs to be. Yeah, Twitter is ridiculous on mobile data. I never noticed too much before, but um, I switched to track phone from uh, Straight Talk. And, um, oh wait, hold on. There's a sneak written in here. And so I only get like 500 megs for two months, I think is my current plan. Um, which would not actually be a problem at all, except that, uh, I've opened Twitter maybe like 20 minutes total and it's used like 300 megabytes. It's completely ridiculous. And I don't even know what it, like it's a, it's a freaking text website. I have image previews off. I have autoplay videos off, but it just somehow uses an incredible amount of data. Also, I just realized with the piercing that means I don't get to benefit from the shots uh, disappearing. Because we're on classic Mega Man rules. Actually, just all Mega Man rules. I don't think they ever stop doing the three bullets on screen sort of thing. Like, some weapons don't act like that, but... Yeah, it's multiple processes because it's Chrome. It's probably Chromium, the open source thing, but... It's Chrome. I actually think Pierce is bad. Pierce is problematic. So piercing is bad. Uh, I really want that 15 freaking bullets per second thing. Oh wait, I can uh, up my speed, I guess. Midair speed, sure. 
Method of fire. Do I have any fun spread? Oh, spread fire. I hate this menu. Alright. Okay, that that is extremely suck. Uh, we're not doing that at all. Also, I don't really think I like this wave. It's visually flashy, but not very effective. Uh, hmm. Sure. First reflect angle. <sighs> Just save them by default, you freaking butt. Alright. Oh wait, this, the reflection also means you don't get to spam as much. Huh. It's kind of funny how... Huh? How much classic Mega Man kind of depends on being able to just spam things. Oh wait, I was going down, not up. Oh. Pit. Oh, you beat Luffy too? Congrats. I want to say she's weak to freeze, but I know that's just because of Mega Man Zero. What is she actually actually weak to? I think she's Dynatron, right? Yes. She's weak to Slicer. Slicing electrical things. Very smart idea. Uh, where's the frickin' element? Freeze, okay. Pepperoni. I really like that auto fire. It saves me from a lot of mashing. And mashing also makes it hard to talk. Can you even notice the visual difference since I dropped the bitrate? This is part of why I'm streaming the uh the pixel art games. I was just playing this anyway, but uh... Wait, what did I miss? Crawler. Nah, it's not that important. Cluster shot. That does sound interesting at least. I, mean, I think I saw your images of you beating Luffy too. I saw I saw a boss calling you a hoochie, at least. Which is very not suburban mom friendly, apparently. Oh! There's our, uh... Oh, nope! Gotta get the pixel. There you go. There's one of the items we missed. I think most of the items I'm missing have to be, like, alternate path things. Because I've gotten the dowsing. I've had the dowsing, and I've... Oh. Well, shut my mouth. I apparently missed this one. He calls you hoochies. Which is wildly inappropriate. Why am I... Oh yeah, the, right, the power-up thing. This is actually really cool that the power-up lets you long-distance burst things. Because it's crazy good for your score. Uh... Everyone loves the wall chicken, but wall watermelon is just as good. It's it's very it's beautiful in this in this season. Oh god, I just realized those were spikes. Oh god. There you go. <laughs> I get a great sense of urgency when I feel the controller rumble. So does anyone actually have uh, one to switch? I don't know. I'm not sure I know anybody who actually got it. I definitely never heard anybody talking about like actually getting it and enjoying or okay, having first-hand impressions of it. 
something. I follow some journos who, you know, operated on a cow's, you know, organs for pleasure. But uh, other than that, I guess villains aren't the most, you know, professional. I really wish those would angle down sometimes. It would be cool if they alternated, but I guess it's more predictable this way. There we go. I think it's a customization option you can set, but... Obviously, that's not going to mess with the on-the-fly just to hit one enemy. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting one to switch. It's the sort of thing I would get for like 10 bucks. Maybe. It's one of those things that should have been like the price of a controller that comes with a controller. Like I bought, that's one. That's how I got one of my first Wii games was, it was just the exact price of a controller and it came with a controller. So like, why not? Wii Play, that's what it was. And Wii Play actually looks like, like Wii Play was, was kind of fun. It was dumb mini games, but like it was one of those games you buy for the dumb mini games. You could there was a tank mini game that was actually pretty fun. So I think I accidentally have the elemental weakness of this thing. Rip in pieces. Wow. The only positive thing I heard about One Two Switch is that blind gamer praised the game's accessibility. Oh yeah, I think it is. It's all operated on by the sound and rumble, isn't it? So that's a pretty interesting aspect. Though I'm sure it wasn't their intent at all. Nintendo's actually pretty bad at accessibility, which is They advertise about being oh games for everyone and then they don't have like basic accessibility features like controller remapping They don't really and motion games are actually incredibly inaccessible um, There's a lot a lot of disabilities potentially limit range of motion um, ability to you know move quickly or Depth perception, stuff like that. Motion is an extremely, you know, complicated thing to uh, operate with, and it's not very accessible. I love how when it, when it was announced, everyone was super excited for the um, counting the ice cubes in one to switch. That was like the coolest thing about it. Which it, it, it does kind of it does sound pretty neat in a stupid way, but it's just kind of odd for that to be such a big oh my god. Actually, I think nine is like fast enough, honestly. I do want to increase my attack power though. Five thousand. Oh my gosh. Imagine three times attack with like. Hmm. All right. How do I? How do I budget this? Five seconds is pretty long. Speed fast. Eh, I think I want fast. Check read. Do I have Astrophere? Yes! Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I've seen very few not indie games with controller mapping options. Um, the thing is, Xbox One and PS4 both natively at like an operating system level let you, um, let you map so even if a game doesn't have it you can at least have one profile to switch to um, and it, I've seen a fair I've seen a few games offer some degree of controller uh, customization it's not super common or anything and yeah it's mostly indie stuff and I mean obviously on PC it's very abundant Excuse me, Mr. Bloodsword, sir. I wonder if this game is rated E10 because of those things. If you have any aspect of blood, you're E10, pretty much. Though I think Kirby Triple Deluxe managed to uh, sneak by without that. Triple Deluxe has blood on a couple of sprites. Oh god. Uh, or actually not sprites, it has, um, it has some blood effects for certain like, supremely uh, post-game bosses. 
um, in the uh, at the end of DDD tour. I like the cute little hopping, like suicidal drone thing. Suicidal drone things. A lot of things in this game like to blow themselves up. That looks like a perfect place for a hidden thing, but there's no buzz, so. Because it isn't. This Copen icon makes me wish there was Copen in this game, too. Just remove Beck and put in Copen instead. They have the same dash, I think. M Beck has like a dash. Ow. Beck has some kind of, like, dash thing, right? Like, that's his gimmick. Oh. Oh, sneaky, aren't we? Invincibility. Which is good, because there's freaking spikes on the floor. My freaking neck is still partially stiff, and only on the left side. I don't know what I'm doing to it. It's gotten better, but it's like... It's a fairly persistent, annoying thing. I've been trying to stretch it and sleep on different sides of the bed and all the crap I can think of, pretty much. I like how the things are just named rando garbage instead of like just telling you what they are. Oh, I spawned a bomb, how dare he? I think the bomb was just incidentally also there. Foods? Okay, I have foods. Hello, giant thing. It's impossible to read these boss names. Oh, classic Wily gimmick, running along the uh, missiles. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't have Lux Caliber. This dissipate is actually completely useless in almost all cases. I don't know why I still have it. Or diffusion. Actually, explosion might be relevant against this particular boss. Oh, figures. It does not actually explode. <laughs> if... Ow. It does not actually explode if it hits the reflecty part, which is the only reason I thought the explosion would be beneficial. Pfft. No railguns for you. Thanks for assist, Lumen. Oh wait, that reminds me, let me show you my favorite part of this game. I happened to screenshot this. I'm so glad we finally have a screenshot button. It's kind of hilarious that uh, Xbox is the only controller without an official screenshot button. Be careful, GV, I've got a bad feeling about this one. Ooh. I do too, Lumen. I do too. Oh, how's the balance, by the way? I haven't asked that yet today. I will ask that forever, sorry. But yeah, I change it over things, and hopefully, yeah, hopefully it should be good, because, like, my ideal is that I don't have to, uh, get another email from Magix about the upgrade to physics. Oh, yeah, the, if you, I heard that Movie Studio Platinum 14 is identical to, um, to 13. It, it doesn't have any new encoding options. It doesn't have anything. Like, it's a new UI, I guess. And that's it. <gasps> Holy crap, Prevasion is in this game. Bennett. <laughs> Bennett to Natch. Good names. Oh man, I want both, but I guess. I guess let's see how much Prevasion costs. So you gotta have three stages. And obviously, this is the final stage because there's no extra item. And it's got the icon of that one dude. You're still using 11? 
I'm using 13, but I've heard there's absolutely no reason to upgrade because it's it's the same thing. 14 is apparently the same thing as 14. You, you should only get it if you don't already have Movie Studio at all. Which is a shame because if Movie Studio uh, 14 could do um, H256 or whatever it is, the new codec, um, I would actually be all over that because Handbrake can do that. YouTube can do that now. It It's better than the old codec. It has better compression ratio. Um, but I can't use that in my editor, so I don't use that, unfortunately. I would like to. Uh, bullet dissipation does not need to be that. Uh, let's see how much pervasion costs. Rapid fire limitation. Cooldown. You will not be able to attack. Shot stopper. When set to on, all shots currently on screen will be... What? What do you mean on? Oh! Oh, so it lets you, it helps you rapid fire. That is actually really interesting. It, it basically makes it, it almost makes it like the sword from Mega Man Zero. That's a cool one. I'm not sure about that though. Fire limitation. That's what I just looked at. Charge shot. Stationary fire acceptable shield. What's that? Right, what's what's pervasion cost? Increases length of time temporary. Oh. It's not real pervasion. It's just what they call the invincibility frames. Aw, oh, that's rude. Aw, oh, that's 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 bullcrap. That's not pervasion at all. So in Gunvolt, you have this thing called pervasion, where as long as you have um, electricity energy, any shot that you get, if you get hit, it, d it drains your energy instead of your health, and uh, you do lose, you lose your combo. Uh, at least in Gunvolt 1. In Gunvolt 2, there's a mode where it's easier and you can you can take a certain amount of hits, even to your pervasion. Um, yeah, but that's, boo! Ooh. Ah, shot That is interesting. So this is 25. Yeah, that's in the 25, so. Attack power. Ah. Okay, that's a bit expensive. I think bullets bigger at least. Bullets bigger. Fast. Trajectory straight. Single fire. I still don't have anything interesting there. Can I get more on-screen bullets? Oh, yes, I can! Heck yeah. Okay. I'm okay with this. Someday I'll compare to Camtasia Studio 7.1 Trial with Movie Studio Platinum. Oh, definitely, um... Movie Studio is, uh... For one thing, Camtasia still doesn't, to my knowledge, at least when I switch, they don't um, they don't do 60 frames per second. And I, I would just generally recommend Movie Studio. It's only like 50 bucks. Camtasia is like 300. Oh, guess what time it is? You gotta have one of these. Mr. Fireman, we gotta slice. Wait, no, we, that's he's press. He's weak to press, which we still. We never actually got. Ow. Ow. I'm so mad that Galvanic Patch does not actually restore health in this one. Gunvolt is so nerfed in this. Gunvolt would beat the crap out of Beck, like, any day, honestly. He's, he's, even in his own game, he's pretty overpowered. And if you put his normal abilities into this game. Are they going to Camtasia Studio 9? Ooh. Well, hello. Let's take that. You can shoot those tiny fireballs he spurts? Really? I just assumed that you couldn't. 
Anyway. Ow. My pride. Who is this guy? I think it was weak to impact, right? Huh. No. So does Gunvolt every, every, only ever have the dart projectile? It's weird that he's limited to darts, because they don't actually do what darts do in Gunvolt. Uh, what was oh yeah, element, element. Which even is the element? It was impact, not smash. Different. Real. Pfft. Exactly the wrong time to jump. My favorite time to jump. <laughs> gotcha. Much better. Yeah, I know how the menu goes, it's just... I always try to exit out with B, because I think it's done, but it's it's never done. It's so weird that there's a conf confirmation prompt, too. This guy's weak to freeze. I remember their weaknesses because they're so completely insane and unintuitive. I just remember being amazed that that's what they were weak to. Oh my god. Ugh. I hate his whole phase too situation. Oh, whoa. Astrosphere can kill those. I guess without it, you can't. That's unexpected. Uh-oh. Ow. Oh, right. It does that. No. Get, get your anus down here. Die. Foods. <laughs> Crap, that's only half. Well, one less than half. Fire Boy. What's Blade Boy week two again? Brandish, you're Smash. Right. Because you smash swords. Oh, son, you're starting Legend of Mana? That's... I love that game. Uh, you don't... What weapon you pick to start with does not matter at all. It's just what weapon it gives you. You can use any weapon. It's just... It's just a free, extremely cheap weapon. That's all that that menu really does. That game is... You do want to get a guide for that, though. That game is... Um, there's a lot of missable content, basically. Alright, he splits both ways. Okay. Yeah, I love Legend of Mana. Yeah, you, you use a guide so you can get all of the different things. Um, it was all over the place. No, there's a... Don't use a game fax. There's a... Uh, there's a map guide. Let me see if I can find this Legend of Mana. I think this is the one. Hold up. Yeah, here. Use this. Uh, things don't matter too much. I think there's some quests that are missable if you do certain situations. But for the most part, you just want to make sure that you build the map properly. Because there's certain things that are not possible if you pick the wrong map or if you put things down in the wrong places. It's a very cool system, but a bit too... I don't like the missable 
this of things. We need to analyze the aviator. We gotta analyze him. Yeah, that guide is about as minimal as you can get in terms of the uh, the walkthrough. Or the map situation, I mean. Ha! Miss me, loser. No! I was so close! He had one HP! How dare he? Oh yeah, I remember finding bow pretty fun in that game. Actually, I liked a lot of the weapons in that game. Um, I think spear, bow, and double-handed sword were my favorites, I think. Wait, do I have enough? For Astrosphere. Whatever, it probably won't matter. Oh, of course I have enough for Astrosphere. Lux Caliber on Astrosphere. On. Yeah, Legend of Mana is a really underrated game. Ah, uh, no, I did the thing! Please die. There you go. Okay. We're good. Yeah, game facts isn't always the best. And sometimes you need something more visual. I've actually had a couple people from GameFAQs ask me to post my guides on there. And I mean, a lot of my stuff is less, like, it's mostly text, but... I like having total control over my thing. Most of my guides don't even... I actually only put guides, or ads, on my Abyssrium ads, too. Or my Abyssrium guides, too. I, I used to put them on everything, but it's like, it's really only the Abyssrium guide gets enough hits to... Really justify that cryosphere is weak to heat. The one weakness that makes any sense in this entire game. I hate his little protecty ring. Anything a boss that anything the boss does that makes them hard to hit, I generally tend to hate. Ow. Die. I have chosen the round the tree again without confusion. Oh yeah, sometimes they make ASCII, you know, stuff to help you. And that's very hard. I'm surprised GameFAQs is still just all ASCII text files. That's kind of Amazing in a bad way. Uh, what's this loser week too? Shock. I think this is the guy that like got his arm shot off and he said just just put a gun on my arm. That's that's all I need. His arm is just a full gun. I mean he's a robot anyway, so I mean his arm was probably just only useful as gun anyway, but what a beautiful human being. They're fake. Oh, there's only there's one of them is real. Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, dude, I... If... That gimmick only really works once, dude. They do have some HTML guides with a few pictures, but only for popular stuff. Oh, I didn't know they'd had HTML guides. Huh. Oh, that reminds me, I need to update my Brave Dungeon guide. I think that's coming to Switch. It's not on Switch yet, though. That'll be a good excuse for me to polish it up and hopefully get some more hits. Nobody views my, um... Oh. Gonna take this hit. Um... What 
are you weak to? Like slice, slicer, yes. Nobody views my Dark Witch 2 guide, and it's like decently-ish popular for what it is. But I got like no hits on it, which is a shame. I think there's already... Oh, rip. Game Facts guides was the problem. Hey, Panic Lizard. Not sure you've stopped in on stream before. HTML guides have been a thing for years now. Huh. I mostly still see text guides, but I mostly see like older stuff when I even look. Honestly, I mostly see uh, GameFAQs forum posts more often than I see uh, actual guides these days. This, usually all of the information is in those. Which is honestly part of why I never really contributed there. It's just kind of a mess though. GameFAX is also kind of, was partly an inspiration to make guides on my own that were like, you know, better than GameFAX. I mean, there's a lot of great information on there. I mean, info is info, but uh, I was just never, <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Oh, it's GV and his tiny GF. Welcome to die, lols. You're on Mr. Tesso's wild ride now, kids. <laughs> he loves memes. Shut your pie hole. GV's gonna give you the beatdown of a lifetime. Tesso, stop this nonsense and send us back to the real world. You know, like, the Z <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even read this. You don't like Zawardo here? <laughs> oh, but this... But this idea I have, though. How about you doing battle against you? Okay, thanks, bye. Aw. We're gonna fight Giro now. That, that is exactly Giro's mask. That's intentional. No infringerinos. Is that a Jo- uh, That was obviously a, a JoJo reference. Yeah, we gotta fight- we gotta fight yourself. Oh no, he has our real powers! How dare he! Oh wait, I accidentally- wait, what even is this? Slicer? I guess that makes sense. We have the same weakness as the uh, shock lady because we are in fact shock boy. Oh my god. Wait, do I still have the damage up? Do I still have the damage up on, or no? I should probably- oh, I have Sepulchal Shield off. I should probably turn that on. Yeah, I can definitely use that. I don't know why. I'm stupid. Ugh, oh, sh shave the thing, yes. Is there any food? Right, I got a burger. I got burg. Okay. Dead. But yes, this is always gonna be- he, he loves memes, so of course he did a Jojo. Oh wow, you beat my copy-paste monster! You're a wizard, GV! That thing was total weak though, so ha <laughs> I can't believe he actually says ha 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 instead of lol, but whatever. It's over, Tesso. I'm gonna finish this. Livestream starts in one minute. The viewers are gonna be come flooding in when we're live. Why did you not start streaming already? Oh my god. It's the thing. It's the Nico Nico thing. I can't believe people like that. That is like completely insufferable. The crap scrolling across the screen. I I, I don't understand that at all. Boom! Here come the comments. Oh yeah! Tesso presents the hottest new Let's Play on the internet. Beating you live is gonna be lit, fam! Haha! <laughs> I hate myself now. I can't believe this game made me read lit, fam. In the year of our Beepus 2017. Yeah, I figured there's there's always a big form. You gotta have the human form. You gotta have the big form. And sometimes there's a dog in there. Don't ask questions. He's in a giant robot of himself. Which I guess is okay, because he's like one of the few people that- Oh my god, no. Oh my god. No. That, that I bet that one hurts. Wait, no, do I stand on that? Oh, no, it hurts. <laughs> Eat your heart out. Um, what other game did this? Uh, oops. Um, no! Uh, what am I trying to say here? The meme bartending game. Um, hey jerk. Oh crap. 
I have no health. Beck, Beck, please be useful for once. Oh, Beck, no! You were. Ah, oh, you failed me for the last time, Beck. The five hundred thousandth time as well. But what is this? No. No! Lumen, please. Thank you, Lumen. Save me! Oh my god. Okay. Splat. Kill him. Yes! Okay, yeah. Valhalla. That's the one. Hard to talk during final boss fights. Please don't have another form. I have one- I have two HP. Great job, GV. Taso's power is weakening. You celebrate- Oh No. There's always three. You celebrate too soon, and that's no good! God, he did the Sonic thing. You see, I didn't like how things are going here, so I fixed it. Basically, I just restored this world to its factory settings, lols. Factory settings? That means that we're gonna be lost forever in the VR world. I wonder who's dead so. Smell you later, losers. Lol. Ha, ha, ha. It's a bit redundant to go lol and then ha ha ha. <laughs> if Tesuo tries to touch you in a place or a way that feels inappropriate, that's no good. But why are we... <laughs> Okay, cr credits. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, you can speed up creds a little bit. No! I missed the gold one! So are we- are we kill? Thanks to all of these peoples, and so on. Oh, that was short. <laughs> we need no good. Oh no. Oh, we got him! We got him by his ponytail. As the world around them began to unravel, Jewel began to feel her powers returning to her. She cared for Gunvolt more than anyone else. That's why she knew exactly what she had to do. She dove into the hellish abyss to save Gunvolt from the t horrible fate that awaited him. She joined hands with Gunvolt, and she was able to help him regain his powers as well. Gunvolt, Oversurge, Azure Striker thingy, Res release us from the prisons of one and zeros. Yay, drama. <laughs> She's so small. Unharmed and back to normal, Gunvolt was making his way back home. Jewel was especially chipper, humming a tune as she made her way back home with GV. She was happy as she could be about finally getting to hold hands with Gunvolt. In the real world, her spirit res resides within GV, so it could never happen there. Gunvolt looked toward the sky and made a wish. He hoped that one day Jewel would finally be able to experience what it feels like to be truly free. Aww. <laughs> C. Uh, yeah, let's get that CP. You completed a challenge! Alright, we got that... Spoiler character. How do I change the thing? Miscellaneous? Let's see what else we got here. What was that? Oh, is that that's Copen's maid, isn't it? And these guys who are totally not copy X, but you know, slightly different. I don't even know which one of these is the male and which one's the female. I think this is the female one. It's very hard to tell. Um, hmm. I'm surprised, like, Dead Girl isn't, like, doesn't have more things. <laughs> Evil Beck. Let's be fabulous, man. I can't believe Fabulous Man only gets like three seconds on screen. He's. Well, he's fabulous. That's just all there is to say about that. Mm -hmm. So, no extra levels. I think I have all of the CP about. Let's see if I can finally equip the 16 plus like max damage or something. Oh, shut up! No, shut up! Please! Why is that slot even there? Um, charge shots. 
I do like that it lets you, there's a few things that let you like, uh, rapid fire limitation. It, it lets you do certain limitations on yourself to gain just a little bit of extra CP. Though they're never like, like they're fairly significant uh, handicaps, but you get very little CP, so it doesn't kind of keeps you from being too OP or anything. Though if you just have enough CP, you can be very OP. Uh, what was I trying to do again? Attack power. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna try a couple levels with uh, Ekoro, and uh, I think I'll probably be done for the night. So we've dropped a few more frames. I don't know how. <sighs> I, I, the only thing that makes me wish I lived in a sort of like a big city is the internet situation. You're now able to choose the game's difficulty when you choose a new game. Oh wait, there's difficulties. Okay, I'm just gonna choose normal Ekoro because. Ikoro seems to already be a hard mode. But basically, Ikoro... Um, the mine seemed pretty sensible. Let's see if we equip some new crap. For one thing, Ikoro does not have elements. Useless. Method of fire. Trajectory curve. Curve sucks, though. Actually... Break timing. Why would I... Why would you have that? I don't... Whatever. Duration. Sure. Yeah, Koro feels like hard mode, because... Oh wait, I definitely want dowsing on. Wait, did you see that ridiculous arc? Is that how it always goes? Are you kidding me with this? Best gun! Best gun ever. Just shoots up. Why would you need to shoot forward in a side-scrolling platformer? Just shoot up. Always shoot up all the time, forever. This is the gun for people that wish they were playing a shoot 'em up A vertical shoot 'em up It may just be me, but she feels like she jumps higher. Or faster, or something. Something feels good about the movement. And different. I'm not sure, though. Alright, this this trajectory thing has to die. Trajectory straight. That's why it's unlocked from the start, because it sucks. Damage reduction. Oh, you do get damage reduction. So that's nice, because she- look at her health bar. Uh, she doesn't get the- she doesn't get Gunvolt's, uh, skills either. Uh, she has her own thing. But look at her health bar, she has so little. I'll take that. And I probably better get the health. Screen share coming soon. Oh, cool. I don't actually need screen sharing myself, but... Uh, but, um... A lot of people I know will be able to finally move over to... Oh no! That was a thing! Oh, I, I couldn't get that anyway. Um... A lot of people I know will be able to... Yeah, I definitely jump higher. Um, a lot of people I know will finally be able to transition fully to, uh, Skype. or er, from Skype. I ditched my Skype, like, a year ago, because of Discord. And I'm super happy to do so. I hope she gets double jump, too. Uh, hey Tristan, have you tried, um, uh, oh no, I missed the thing! Kill me. Um... Does she get different power-ups than, uh, GV and, uh, Beck? Finally. Not yet. 
She seemed interesting but hard. Oh no, that drains my meter too. I think you get your meter fairly quick though. Oh no, I did the. Oh god damn it. Actually, she doesn't seem to take an amazing amount of damage. I think. I think I may just be used to. She takes less damage. I don't know. I do have the 50% damage thing, though. Ow. You were supposed to be dead. I kind of wish you could just share power-ups between characters. I don't know if they're different, though. If you do add the 8-bit clap, don't add the transparent one. Alright, yeah, because it is black, isn't it? So that would look weird on the dark theme. Yeah, you definitely jump higher. you And faster, I think. Her jump feels really good. Like I said, I'm a big fan of characters with, like, interesting uh, movement and stuff. Or just, like, items that let you affect your movement in an interesting way. I think that's why I like Metroidvanias, because they tend to be one of fairly few genres that really let you even do that. Alright. Oh, no, please! Oh, health. Die, please. There we go. You'll know which one is the transparent one, it looks very ugly. Okay. I don't use the dark theme, though. Everyone says, like, oh, how do you use light theme? It's gonna hurt your eyes. And it's like, well, I use so many things that use light themes and only have light themes. Oh, crap. It's like, how can you possibly use a dark theme? The reason light things hurt your eyes is because you use so many dark themes. I can't, I can't avoid light themes, so I have to avoid dark themes, and that makes everything better. It's really the switch that hurts your eyes. I mean, unless you're, you know, like, looking at your screen at 4 a.m. with all the lights off. Uh, there we go. No, no! I keep forgetting I don't have a double jump. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, it looks bad on the white theme? Huh. I assume it looks bad on the dark theme too, though. I thought it was a black thing. Oh wait, is it white? Is it, is it, I thought it was, ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. So you're invincible and I guess deal more damage when you are, oh god damn it, in this state. Except a lot of bosses are invincible very frequently. But the good thing is it refills during the boss fight. Ah, oh, okay. Oh no. Oh, right, food, 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 food. I know about food. The hand is white, everything is black. Uh, oh wait, I think I wasted food. Whatever. Okay, I like her jump. It lets her attack a lot more freely. The invincibility is interesting, though. I think she makes, like, an interesting advanced playstyle sort of character, I guess. I had almost forgotten the mashing since I had the auto fire. Wait. Oh, you do get elements. Wait, what's? Oh, she has different pixel art. Oh, I see. I thought she didn't get the elements, but no, she doesn't get the pixel art. She has pixel art. She has her own pixel art. Which I guess are the girls from the from Galgun, I guess. I don't recognize most of these, but. Hmm. 
Well, I think I'm gonna head off for the night. Um, I think I might stream some Zelda tomorrow. Um, no, I'll probably just stream whenever I feel like. Uh, whenever I would be playing. I'm not gonna stream all of Zelda because it's ridiculously long, and but I'll stream some bits of it, I guess. Whew. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, see you tomorrow, potentially.